Hi, welcome. My name is Mary Ashley Latta, and I help to coordinate the Ross Murray Griner Margot Trombetta Children's Peace Library at Cabrillo College. And we'll put another video up later with more history about the library and how it came to be. If you're looking for a really good children's book to read to your child during this wonderful shelter in place time when we get a lot of time with the people we love, you can go to www.childpeacebooks.org and there is a selection of 1200 to 1300 titles that have been carefully selected because they have beautiful stories, they have rich and gorgeous pictures, and they represent the true diversity of our world and the diverse stories that are out there to be told to young children. We'll share another video later with more information about the Peace Library and how it came to be, the history. But for now, I wanted to start by just sharing a book from our library, and I'm gonna share one of my favorites that came out a few years ago, and it's one of my favorites because it connects me to my childhood. And so I'm gonna do that. I will also be asking other past Peace Librarian, current Peace Librarian, the student librarians who work with the library to choose books and read on video and post on our social media. And so hopefully you can use these videos to share with your children, discover a new friend, a new book. If you're looking for a new book for your child, you can go out to the website, www.childpeacebooks.org, and you can um, search for a book based on a variety of different categories. When you're ready to order a book, even though we're sheltered in place here in the Bay Area and are starting to be in many other areas of the world, you can often order a book from an independent bookstore like Bookshop Santa Cruz has an online web page and they're shipping books for 99 cents. So cheap shipping and you get to discover new friends. Please try and support local small businesses. They're hit particularly hard right near, now during the COVID-19 shelter in place times. Um, stay healthy. Let me share with you my book that I'm gonna share for today. It's I Like Old Clothes by Marianne Hoberman, illustrated by Patrice Barton. One of the reasons this is my favorite is I had a lot of hand-me-downs as a child and it was fun to think about where did those clothes come from? So we'll read this together. I Like Old Clothes by Marion Hoberman, illustrated by Patrice Barton. There's a great picture over here for the children who are watching. It says second hand, we have a hand for hand, shop. All kinds of interesting clothes in the window. If you went into that store, which clothes would you buy? I think I'd buy the cowboy boots. I do like boots. For my granddaughter, Dorothy and Kit, who really like old clothes. For my son, Seth, with love. Look at those children in the pocket. It's either a really big pocket or really tiny children. Which one do you think it is? There go. There's lots of clothes on the clothing line. And all those clothes, which one would you want to wear if you could wear one? I like old clothes, hand-me-down clothes, worn out grown clothes, not my own clothes. Which one would you wear? Would you make a puppet out of the sock? What would you wear? When somebody grows and gives me her clothes, I don't say, what, those, and turn up my nose the way some people do when their clothes aren't new. Look how excited she is. And the little one in the wagon is excited too. Somebody's doing laundry. I like old clothes. I really do. Ooh, I wonder who that belonged to last. Maybe somebody in a marching band. Clothes with a history, clothes with a mystery. How many buttons are on those gloves? I wonder where those gloves have been before she got to wear them. Sweaters and shirts that are brother and sistery. 
how big that sweater is on him. Now she's going to put the sweater on. Look how small the sweater is. It's big on one and small on the other. Do you see the cat in each of the pictures? You can hear my cat in the background. He likes when I read books about cats. Clothes that belonged to a friend of a friend who wore them to school when she lived in East Bend. You lived in East Bend once, blue sweater, I say. Just think you're living in my town today. It's a very soft sweater. How many flowers do you think you could count there? I was noticing the flowers, they're made out of buttons. I like old clothes, everyday clothes, once for good clothes, now for play clothes. Well, that's something fun you could do at home. You could make a hopscotch board outside your house with chalk. You could do it in your driveway or your backyard. When I wear them, then I say, clothes, I wonder who wore you before you were mine. Was she light-haired or dark-haired, seven or nine? Did you make her look awful or make her look fine? It's hard to tell who'd look well in a yellow dress. Who would look a mess in a red-striped hat? Was she thin or fat? Did she have a cat? I ask them that what she did with the dress. There's a big, long dress. There's scissors. I see needle and thread and pins and lots of pieces. Now the dress is short and the cat has the extra. Looks like the cat likes old clothes too. I like old clothes, cozy warm clothes, broken in clothes. Where have you been clothes? Clothes that were worn before I was born and now are mine. They made sock puppets. We were talking about that in the beginning. Take old socks, draw on them and put on a puppet show. It's a good shelter in place activity. Skirts with the line of a let down hem. I like them. And party dresses, not quite new, not quite in style. I like them too. Lots of clothes in that closet. There's the cat. I like to wonder where they've been what games they've played, and if they won, and if the parties turned out fun. She's got a party dress on. Do you see the puppet taking a cookie? She's imagining where that dress has been before her. What happened at that party? Maybe they had a pinata? Maybe they did dancing? I wonder. Look at that skirt. I bet when that skirt twirls, it goes crispy, crispy, crinkly, crinkly. Maybe it makes sounds. What do you think? And she's putting on a plaid shirt. I'll have to see if I can find a copy of Annie's plaid shirt to read another time. Or maybe one of my friends can find their copy. And there's the cowboy boots that were in the window. I like old clothes, faded old clothes, not so new clothes. Where were you clothes? I wonder what the cat sees outside the window. And each time I wear them, I try to imagine the places they've been and the faces they've seen.
and which whose clothes they'll be when they're finished with me. Somebody had them before her, this family. Somebody else will have them next. And that's the end. So if you like this book, again, it's I Like Old Clothes by Marianne Hoberman, illustrated by Patrice Barton. Go to Bookshop Santa Cruz or any other website of a local bookseller and you can get a copy for yourself. I think some libraries and some communities are also sending books home if you request books. You can check that out as well. If I get more information, I'll let you know. Have a lovely day and make sure to take care of the people you're sheltering in place with and stay healthy. Find moments of joy.